Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Excuse me, ma'am. You register, ma'am. Is that of my truck? I'm sorry, ma'am, but that is the rule. Don't you know me? I'm a stakeholder here. You're welcome, ma'am. Thank you. Not of my sight. Excuse me, ma'am, but that is the rule, ma'am. You need to sign the register. I want to say school authorities. The authority? Yes. I am under authority. Don't be offended, ma'am. Which of them do you want to see? The proprietor, the proprietress, which of them, ma'am? All of the above. In that case, we need to start from somewhere, ma'am. Is she around? Who, ma'am? The proprietress. No, ma'am, she's not around. How about the agent? Let me confirm that for you, ma'am. Confirm what? Excuse me. Please understand that the bed is the most important part of speech. And this is because of this right action. It does not only describe action, but it also describes state or events. Who can tell me an example of a day? Becky. The white man is a bird. Fantastic. And what was the word done describe? It describes action. Wow. Can you please give her a round of applause? That said this. And what are the woman's mood? They don't make condition for urging an office. <laughs> I'm sorry if that offends you. Mm. Please do have a seat. You're welcome, Mr. Dee. I hope all is well. I'm making sense. It's always been a family face. You can't understand. I know you won't understand. Why? Because those that saw rotten fish. They are slow to perceive the state of excreta. Ah, no. That's rather tense. Mm -hmm. How you all is well, Mrs. Adiye? All is well? How can all be well? How can all be well? When you and you get the love of doing the job. I beg your pardon? Oh, okay. My baby. My daughter has jumped straight into the head of ruffians. Ruffians! Oh, this is an institution of repute. Prove, madam. It's your proof that this food will lie and not your claim. What lies? What lies? What are you talking about, Mrs. Sadiele? You be more slow. In your same institute of repeat, an evil phone has scratched my phone. I don't understand what you're talking about, Mrs. Sadiele. What is it? Mrs. Sadiele, please do have a seat. I can see you're agitated. I will take a seat. Or take a step from here, except I said my husband Becky's teacher. That's Mrs. Odion. Please may I know why you want to see her? I'm not obliged to tell you. You can't make me tell you. This is an educational institution. There are standards here. There are standard procedures here. Excuse me? What does that mean? I mean, there are rules that guide our conduct here. Oh God. <laughs> Don't be soiled hands. They will never find a hiding place. Madam, Mrs. Odion is a staff of this organization. Any discussions that border on conflicts must pass through the right channel. Don't forget I know her class. I'm only your daughter's political by coming here. If I must see her, I know where to get her. You do no such thing, ma'am. On what, madam? I will see her. Of course you will see her. But for what purpose? What's your name? That's true, I keep forgetting. You are in this department. <coughs> okay. Now, when you get to your class, tell your class to just see me immediately. Okay, ma. All right, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, Miss Sade. I'm pleased to see you. Wow, I understand you want to see me. Yes, indeed. Please have a seat. Thank you, Ma. I don't think you deserve a seat. 
But you answer all my questions. Madam, I offered you a seat. You rejected it. I saw a mark on my daughter's hand. Good morning, ma'am. Is that true, Mrs. Audion? Yes, ma'am. Did you hear that? <laughs> did you hear that? How did it happen? It's so just an accident, ma'am. Does that highlight your recklessness? Calm down. We don't use cane on our pupils here. And for all I know, Mrs. Audion is our most conscientious teacher. I can attest to that. All I know as well, the standing rule among gangsters is to defend your gang member. Ah. Excuse me, ma. Gang what? Who gave my daughter the mark on her hand? This was an accident. You see? <laughs> Did you hear that again? <laughs> How come? Ma, one of Becky's limits swung the skipping rope the wrong way and it landed on Becky's right hand. Can you see? Can you see that it was purely an accident? And it wasn't intentional. Oh, please don't patronize me. That highlights your recklessness. What? Get them skipping rope. Why was there no adult to molest them when they were sleeping? And why should this happen in your institute of refuge? More importantly, why must it happen to my own daughter? My own Becky! Oh, no. What are you doing here? Who better than you? Get back to your class. What I'm told you it was a mistake. It was an accident. It wasn't intentional. Keep quiet. Evil must be aborted in the womb of recklessness. Hey, me! I said go back to your class. Why are you arresting my teacher? Let it be the first and the very last time. She didn't do anything wrong. It is a day again. There are few variables outside our control. And what happened was one of those. One of those. Mm -hmm. That was the That was one in the womb of lies and deceit. That was the truth, I don't even know. I'm sure my mom got dead so much I'm sorry about that. My dear. Mom, what I've told you, I love my teacher. Now, what do you say to that, Mrs. Sade? You get to make me the house. You come back to my friend, you get to make me the house. What is the past tense of lied? Okay, what is the past tense of lied? What is the difference between lied and lied? Lied is used for describing falsehoods. I think it is for describing the position of our origins. Can you do an example? Of course. Go ahead. Maybe I'll write to our mother about the story piece of meat. Hey, why? You're not a chief. You have to give her an example. Did it to you? That's why you called me. I did it. I did it. I did it. I make an example of the lead now. No, don't insult me again. I didn't insult you. I made a sentence. I'm going to make another sentence now. Oh, don't. Yeah, why are you running to? Teacher, running to get my email out of the Teacher, running to get, need to get. Where is your class teacher? She is the agent! No, I don't see you. Alright, you can't have this one. I'm also like, you want to? Okay, I said, you know, you know, you don't see that. Okay, if you do that, you'll be your favorite song. Don't point that to me, Ben. Okay, is it not true? That is all right, that is all right. I can't even like this song, then like it. Excuse me, I started this song. I'm like, I started this and everyone joined. Go away and I deny you the truth, Ben. I didn't deny you to Madame Lawyer. It's okay, it's okay. I want to say this on the name. Can you say the name, please? Yeah, it's fine. No, I want to start. Okay, please do. Teacher, I want it to get. Me to get. Me to get. Teacher, I want it to get. I live my life today. What did you ask? Can you dance? Yeah! Thank 
you. Please come in. Okay. I want to bring something to your notice. Because I don't want you to hear it from the great vine first. Go ahead, I'm listening. Mrs. Abiyaya came this morning. Is she? Yes, sir. What for? She came for a showdown with Mrs. Audio. But for the timely intervention of her daughter. A showdown? Over what? Over nothing, really. Happen. What do you want? You should know that is not a way to enter an office. You knock and wait for a restaurant. Come in. I'm sorry, ma'am. What do you want? <laughs> what is the matter? My meat. Your what? My meat. What happened to your meat? I you put my lunch back and a piece of meat fell on the floor. Why are you crying? I can't pick it from the floor because our class chapter was never to pick anything that fell on the floor to put in our mouth. That's true. That's true. The meat that fell on the floor is not an ordinary meat. What type of meat is it? Chicken. It's meat. You mean I shouldn't pick it? <laughs> Please, ma, allow me to pick it. It's big. It's <laughs> a fried chicken. Moreover, it is very sweet. How do you know it is very sweet? I'm sure it's very sweet because fried chicken is always sweet. <laughs> but you know it is not hygienic to pick things from the ground or the floor. I'm not in a Fuji straight to my, to my mouth. Well, what do you want to do there? I will take it to the tap and wash it thoroughly. I saw so doing, you would have washed up all the taste. Excuse me, but the taste of the fried chicken is not in the outer skin. My goodness. Please, my dear, let go of the meat. <laughs> no. <laughs> By now, flies would have fetched your needs. In that case, I will use soap and sponge to wash it. <laughs> Please, ma, allow me to pick it. She's in haste. Thanks on having a way. No, you will do no such thing. Calm down. Calm down, I say. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Please, ma, allow me to pick it. No. Don't. No. It will be replaced. Where? Now? Oh, thank you, ma. Excuse me, ma. When will my chicken arrive? Now. In that case, I must go back to my class. Okay, go back to your class. 